how to get buyers on fiverr hey guys welcome back in this video i will be showing you how you can get buyers on fiverr.com to sell your gig so let's get into it first of all you're gonna go to fiverr.com and you'll get on this platform right here fiverr is one of the biggest freelancing platform that allows you to create your own gig and sell your skills you can make a lot of money with fiverr and when it comes to creating your own gigs uh there are different clients that buy your gigs so how you can create gig that sells and how you can get more buyers that's what we will cover in this video so for that i'm actually going to sign into my fiverr.com you can also sign in or sign up if you're still not a member of fiverr then you can actually sign up very easily using your email address or you can use your google account so it's really easy to get started all right so i have logged into my fiverr.com and make sure that you have a seller's account because this is the account where we sell and we find buyers um so you can see this is our uh you know sellers dashboard at the top we have my business where i'll be able to see my orders this is where i see if i get any buyer gigs profile earnings fibers workspace then we have growth and marketing um analytics and more so the first thing you need to do is you need to work on your profile if you want to get more buyers so for that i'll actually open up my profile here which is relatively a new profile and if you are a complete beginner this is what you will get it. All right, so you can see my profile is pretty basic here, and I have two of the gigs that I had created, and this is what you will also have. Now, this is the problem here. You need to create a profile that is attractive to the buyer because if your profile is not attractive, that means you won't sell. That's the simple case. For instance, the profile picture. So you need to upload a profile picture here. I'm gonna quickly do that. So I have uploaded an image now. After that, your display name. So this is where you will enter your full name like this. Now you can see it looks better. Then we have our user profile. You're going to enter your information and then we have added description. So in description, you need to tell about yourself. And this is an important part. A lot of people don't focus on this part, but this is actually this helps you with the SEO as well. It helps your gig land in higher results and then you get more buyers. So here you need to enter a description that actually describes your expertise and your skills. So you will enter uh, right here. Do your search and make sure to be descriptive enough to explain explain everything that you're gonna do then we have languages so this is where you can add languages make sure to add all of the languages that you have and you can also you know change your level to it for instance i'm going to go with the native here click on update linked account now this is also an important part make sure to add your facebook twitter and your linkedin um, these are some of the uh, accounts that you need to must connect skills in skills again this is an important part you need to upload your you know skills here click on add new and add as many skills as you like for instance i'm gonna go with voice so i'm gonna go with voice acting here expertise level here click on add and it will be added and i'm gonna add another one which is going to be voiced over and then we're going to go with expert and click on add there you go so this is how you will add skills here education certificate these are the important things that you need to update to get more buyers so this is the first step that you need to do so you have your profile ready it's good now we will check out the gig option now in gig there are a lot of different things that you will have to do differently in order to get the buyers if you're creating a simple gig that might not get you the buyers that you want to and it will not give you the high paying clients or the clients at all now there's few of the things that you need to keep in mind first make sure that your gig is visually um representable and it's it's visual you need to add a photo or a video to your gig because uh, uh we have done our research and we found out that there are the gigs with the videos and the images a face I do much more better uh, than the ones that didn't have any you know visual representation so that's an important part then we have about the gig in about the gig you can see uh, don't just go with a simple about the gig uh, right here you need to enter um, 
you know full information be descriptive enough be um also brief enough to explain everything you know you need to do your search don't just create you need to actually attract the buyers it's just like selling in person it's just like selling a product so if you want to sell something you need to attract people to buy your product so that's actually an important part and then we have our orders detail um and we have our pricing pricing also matters don't go over the board as a complete beginner you need to be reasonable because a lot of people are looking for cheap um you know work so you need to be reasonable enough so that buyers can buy you not be expensive so these are some of the things that you need to keep in mind when it comes to your profile and when it comes to your gig now these are the two things that will give you the buyers that will get the buyers to you then we have marketing uh, once you have worked on these two things you can go to growth and marketing and then we have scale your business option so we have scale your business here create your badge boost the traffic to your gigs by embedding this seller badge on your website or blog so you can see right here these are uh, marketing tricks that you need uh, for instance we can actually add our profile to our blog or a website that we have so this will give us the uh, boost to our traffic to our gigs that means we will get more traffic and eventually we will get more buyers so you need to keep in mind if you have a blog or website you can actually create a blog or a website for free uh, using blogger.com you can create a website on wix squarespace um, there are a lot of videos on this channel that will actually show you how to get started or create a portfolio website. Um, so you can see you will just, uh, you know, embed this code to your website and this will help you with the growth and with the marketing of your business. You'll be able to scale your business uh, with this uh, technique. Otherwise, you can also do the promotion. If you want to run ads on Facebook for your gigs, you can do that and you can also promote your business the other ways. Once you promote your business, then of course, it will give you more buyers. But you need to work on your profile first and on your gigs. While creating a gig, uh, make sure to work on different aspects. Make sure to create a professional and high quality gig so that you get more buyers. And after that, the important thing is actually uh, bidding and uh, offering and different jobs that we have. So make sure to kind of like apply for different jobs, make good contacts with the clients so that they actually buy your gig again and they're like your you know permanent clients so you need to be very active on fiverr and this way you will be able to sell more and more gigs and become a pro seller on fiverr and get more buyers so these are some of the tricks that you need to do when you are working on fiverr.com and if you are a freelancer so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question